Fantasy 16 again. I hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, boy, and oh my god. When no. One thing after another around here. Oh, girl, I know. I Dear nephew, how I've missed you. Why? How did you find this place, Uncle? Through the good offices of young Sir Wayne. He really is the most helpful fellow. As are you, I hear. The guardians and those they freed tell the most outlandish tales of your heroics in Rosalith. Which is why I came, to learn the full truth of the matter. Saw the fact and the fiction, so to speak. You were working with the Guardians of the Flame to evacuate the people of Rosaleth the Port Isolde. I was. I. Then I have questions for you. Please, come inside, Uncle. Gladly. Uh, you there? There are 2,000 gold talents in those chests. See that they're added to my nephew's coffers, would you? 2,000? What? <laughs> Two thousand. And I'm afraid that is all I know. A fleet sailing south past Port Isolde. Most intriguing. Forgive me for not being able to tell you more. I hadn't the faintest idea Coco withdrew wounded from Rosalith. Still less that my own nephew dealt the decisive blow. What do you think, Vivian? I think, with this news of the Dalmechian fleet and recent reports of the Royalists' movements, that the final piece of the puzzle has fallen into place. Come here and I'll show you. Huh? It is known what? that Kupka's forces entered Rosaria via its unguarded coast. So it the be the Kupka. From Mulud. Certainly her royal navy is famed for the efficiency with which it bears her knights from one battlefield to the next. And in the Ein Heyar, or Black Galleon, she boasts a vessel nigh as swift and every bit as feared as the kingdom's legendary cavalry. A fitting flagship for a land apart, her naval presence being crucial to her ambitions beyond Ash. Yes, it seems safe to assume that the Royalists did indeed enter Rosaria from the sea. So then, had you a vested interest in Titan's survival, whither would you take him? Why home to Drake's Fang, a place rich enough in ether to conjure the magics needed to mend his hurts? But would that not entail an arduous voyage around the Southern Cape? Let us say that the Royalists did put ashore with a mind to spirit Kupka away from under your very nose. Could that truly have been their plan for him? Oh, I know. One of the ships flying Republican colors sighted off the coast near Port Isolde. Kupka spent weeks at sea, being tossed hither and yon by unforgiving waves, his life hanging in the balance. Who is left? Mean Titan's death, and Kupka's faithful creatures would not allow it. So what then was the plan of our Walud friends? Reports suggest they made not for the coast, but for the desert. And by cutting through the Velcroy, a party traveling light would have Titan back in his bed, days before a galley could lurch into port. To wit, it was the Royalists, not the Republicans, who effected Hugo Kupka's safe retreat. I would stake your life on it. Really? S 
So it was the Waluders who spirited the wretch away. Now I think about it, there was something a little strange about the ships I saw. The men seemed almost crestfallen, as if in mourning, as if they believed, or were made to believe, that their master was dead. You have a keen mind, Lord Rosfield. And you have your answer. To find Kupka, you have merely to follow the Royalist trail across the Velcro. It may well have gone cold by now, but as they say in the Republic, all roads lead to Drake's fan. Uh, allow me to accompany you part of the way. My as long would have it, I had intended to journey Camberwood on business after visiting Uncle here. Byron. The fang would be but a short detour. I'd be glad of the company. Give me a moment to make ready. I need to tell my friends what we've learned. And where we're going. Very well, but be quick about it, my boy. Time waits for no man. You said me. Finished outfit in our little workshop out here. Otto, Kuka's at Drake's Fang. I'll be leaving before sunset. You're not going in there alone, are you? Don't worry. I'm not going there to destroy the Mother Crystal. All I'm after is Kuka's head. I won't risk any more than I have to. I promise. The lands are in the Fang, or Kuka's personal fiefdom. You have any trouble on the way? You ask for Rosina Dalamil. Some call her the Desert Hare. Who is she? An old associate of Sids. And only Sids. All I know is the name. And that they used to be at the Dalamil Inn. We've heard nothing from her since he died. But I'm thinking maybe the new Sid might be able to bring him back into the fold. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. So, uh, what about your uncle? I, I mean, he's welcome to stay here, boy. Don't look so worried. He'll be coming with me. Thank fuck for that. Gav, Otto, I'm leaving you two in charge. You can count on us. I wonder if being in jail. Jail is gonna rest here. I'm gonna buy both jars. We shall.
I was a young man when last I walked this path. Oh, gun, door, gun, door, gun. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. He's there with sun. Our destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. So sand, oh my god. Never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a baby. How put yours all sand? Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil is. I don't even know where Dinner. I'm going. This heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? Sure. How could I save? Oh, oh wait. I can't. a long ride from Stonehair. Our Beluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn. Shall we join them? Nah. Maybe. Run along and play now, Torgo. But no. Day to you, Eaton. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? 
Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that, then. And ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you like <laughs> my squire? Hmm. <laughs> I know you, you're um, here with Joshua. What's Grace, happening? It is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Dion has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Why do you want to fight? You want to fight, man? Uncle. Sorry. You want to fight, man? Yeah, we can fight. Trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? <sighs> Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Help us find our way. Ah, uh, bro. Sorry, lad. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Nah, bro. Friend. Bravo, my boy! Just like that! 
Yeah, boy! Hey, Zagre! Hey, Zagre, my boy! Your brother is downstairs. Now's our chance. Why is it only leaving? Your Grace? I'm fine. Yeah. What do we live, Dodge? Won't you? Won't you me play, my man? Won't you me play, my man? Joshua. They run, then I to go outside and meet Joshua. Joshua, let's go. Should press on before any more of their friends. Turn we up. should not know. Where's the world punch job? How dare it's back here. Fresh bread, warm from the other figure sniff, good side. I'm looking for the world one job. Okay, I'll see you guys on the next episode. 
ஏன்